I just, I never thought of making this video. This video was never in my mind at all, until now. And I guess me not addressing this might have just been a problem. So, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, and if you guys didn't read the title, it's the copyright claim problem. So basically, small YouTube channels are getting copyright claims just because they're using free music or they're doing a reaction video. Like, like the reaction video, I can understand quite a bit, but using free music and then claiming that it's yours, that's just, that's just getting out of hand. So this problem has been happening on YouTube for quite a while, probably like for a few years at most. I know it's been happening before, like last year. I know this problem has been happening since last year for me. But this problem wasn't that bad until March. If you guys didn't know, in March, YouTube cut their staff to stop spreading the virus. Because like, you know the situation we're in right now, right? I mean, if you're, if you're watching this video by now, you know the situation that everyone's in. So basically, since that, when that, situ since that situation got out of hand, YouTube just cut so much employees and said that like they're gonna have some bots working on working on YouTube to make it better and to monitor videos and channels. This however backfired horribly since channels getting terminated for no reason as well as trollers and bots are basically controlling YouTube now. Even the people that are monetizing can't control what's happening. It's just really getting out of hand. So basically there's the bots problem and then there's the actual trollers problem. I'm gonna address the bots problem first. So the bots problem is basically it's just annoying to deal with. Um for I I didn't even know how to explain it properly. But let me just try to explain as much as I can. So there's bots on YouTube. Not the bot not, the, not YouTube bots. You know, the bots that YouTube actually made to monitor videos. I mean, other bots. Like, uh, bots that other people made. So, bots are basically claiming videos before they even released. Like, I had a few of my videos already claimed before the video even got uploaded. It wasn't even done rendering. Like, how? The video didn't even process and you're already, like, claiming the video? So I already know that's, pro that's probably just a bot. They probably just like saw me using music. It was just basically the music problem. So if you use free music, you're basically getting in this problem just because, I don't know, the bots think that like, the music you use belongs somewhere else and it belongs to someone else. So if you're gonna use free music, just disclaim it. I mean, disclaim it, dispute it. And just like, make sure you put the links in the description of the mu music you use. That will help you a lot if in case like you need to go to court or you need to like um, prove that you're right. So the bots, uh, the bots problem is just really just like annoying to deal with. But I think from my personal experience, if you just claim the video, if, no, if you don't claim the video, if you dispute the claim, that's what I meant to say. If you dispute the claim and it's a bot, it would, it would stop for quite a while. Of course, they'll come back eventually. But if you just claim it for quite a while, they it won't bug you that much. It will probably just stop. So, just like FYI for YouTube, and for the people that work at YouTube, keep an eye out for these bots. Keep an eye out for these um, copyright claim bots. I know a few. I know some people have mentioned a few, but I'm gonna name them later when I actually show you my copyright claim problem. But YouTube, if you see these copyright claim bots. Just please, please get rid of them. It's really just like causing a problem for all of us. You're even losing people up from YouTube. You're using, you're making people quit YouTube and stop watching it. So, just, just remove these bots. Just make sure you you catch these bots. You remove them and you find out who made them, because dealing with these bots on YouTube is just really annoying. And then we get to the trollers. Oh my gosh, I don't even know why these people exist. Like trolling is fun until you get it, until you start stealing people's money. That's when it gets out of hand. Like, like I'm getting copyright claim. I know there's a fr there's a few trollers that are like copyright claim my videos. Um, I'm not really like, I'm not really doing that much action, but I'm gonna start to if I have to, just because like I'm not making money 
and it's only happening once in a while. It's not like constantly every single video. But if I start making money and you start claiming my video, even though you don't even own it, you don't own the music, you don't even own the video itself that I'm reacting to, I'm actually going to start like claiming your video. I'm going to start disputing it. I'm going to start calling you out. Like, you just watch yourself, bro. Like, this problem is really getting out of hand. I feel bad for those that actually make money on YouTube and then trolls just come in claiming, the claiming that the video is theirs and they should get the money. Like, it's just really getting out of hand. And I feel like there's just one pro there's one way to, s to solve this problem is that people at YouTube should actually review these claims. Like, not, a bot shouldn't review it and it shouldn't be so easy to claim a video. I feel like it was actually just like a, if an actual human being, an actual employee at YouTube reviewed like the claims, I feel like more than half of them would probably get rejected. Just because like how dumb it is, how dumb the excuse is. So YouTube, if you're going, if anyone on YouTube is going to watch this, anyone that works on YouTube watches or this video blows up, just in my personal, personal opinion, have someone review the claims, have an actual employee, not a bot, but an actual employee, review the claim. And, and if a claim does get disputed, I feel like an actual employee should actually look at that video as well. Should actually look at the, the dispute, should actually look at the claim together, and then find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. That would solve so much problems on YouTube, and that would probably get rid of all the bots, and get rid of all the trollers. I mean, not all the trollers, but it will, it will stop the trollers. So, let's go on to see my, my problems with the copyright claim videos. And I'm going to show you a few of them. A few good examples of the copyright claim videos that I need to show you. So, I'm going to show you guys right now. So, a couple of my videos did get copyright claim. As you guys can see by the list, a few of my videos have been copyright claimed. But I want to use a few examples that I need, really need to talk to you guys about. So we have the shallow video. We have the shallow video. We have my intro video. And we have three reaction videos that I need to show you. So I'm going to start off calm first. And I'm going to do the, um, my intro video. So I disputed it today since I knew how to dispute it. I, I wasn't really sure what option I should do if, if this situation happened to me. So basically I in my new intro I used to I used the song Better Days by Lakey Inspired. I used that intro for for the new video for the new intro and apparently I got copyright claim from it. Apparently it's a song called Knockin' by Jessen Pyro. Um okay, I never heard of him but okay. And apparently the copyright per the thing that copyright me was repost network network on behalf of Indify. I really didn't want to read it that much. But basically, I got copyright claim, and I'm pretty sure this guy is a bot. Is actually a bot. Since because in the next video I used the intro, in my shout out episode nine. The same thing happened. The only thing is that this video got copyright claimed before the video got posted, before I could press publish, before even, well, I scheduled the video. So before I even scheduled the video, while I was still processing, it really got, it immediately got copyright claimed. So I'm pretty sure that this video, or like the person that copyright claimed my video, was a bot. And it's only for the intro as well, it's like the first 10 seconds. So. Here's the original, here's the song I used by Lakey Inspired. Oh, okay, my mic was still, my headphones were still loud. So I used like the first 10 seconds, right? So as you guys can see, it's just the intro, right? So basically, let's see if I can copyright claim of it again by a bot. But basically, this song is literally, it was literally made a few days. A few days, a year, at least three years after this video got released. Like this was May 13 of 2017. Three years li later, I see 
this guy come out? This was probably like May some. It was probably like it was somewhat sometime this week. So I want to say May seventeenth, May eighteenth. Anyways, this guy literally made the song three days after. Use it. Okay, it was August nineteenth. My bad. It was since August. I thought it was like made made this year because like I I never heard of this guy until now, and basically I used better days before and then now I get copyright claim. But basically this guy literally uploaded the video at least two years after after Lakey Inspired up made his video, and this guy had the lyrics and I was and I had to listen to it. It was so bad. Not 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 to like shame anyone. But like it was, it was just unpleasant to to watch. See, Amy has more than fifty-two dislikes. Like, bro, the two likes have to be you and your mom. The fifty-two dislikes has to be everyone else that actually got claimed because of this. It was just a big mess. And the thing is, how did I get claimed? Like, why did people get claimed because of this guy? Like, literally, Lakey Inspired. Okay, if Lakey Inspired did like claim me for using the song, I would have been okay with it. I would have been like, oh I'm sorry, um I'll how should I how should I claim it properly or what should I do to make this video better? But I would have just been like so chill. I would have just told him that um I would just ask him how should I make the video more better so I wouldn't get claimed by you. But this guy his bots literally claimed my video before it even got released. Claiming that the song I used was his, even though Licky Inspired uploaded Better Days two years before he did, and literally he made he made me hate the song, not Licky Inspired, but like the song itself. Like he made me not want to rap to the song because like it was just that bad. It's worse than my raps, and you guys seen the like my rap videos. It's it's just like unpleasant to watch. Let's just say that. But anyways, so now we get to the reaction videos. So we got over the music videos, but basically if you do get copyright claim for using free music, as long as you have your link in the description of the video, 